All right, guys, how's it going? Moto Dragon here again. I want to talk about something that I keep seeing popping up coming into the winter time, and I want to voice my opinion on it, and that's riding at night with a tinted visor to kind of clear the air. Right now, I have a tinted visor on, and as you can see, it's like pitch black. that's why I'm bringing it up because I ride with a tinted visor all year round the kind of main reason for me wearing one is because the time that I get up at the, st the it's dark but then there's a low Sun so if I was to have a clear visor I'd be blind I wouldn't be able to see so that's the reason why I actually wear one and it's not like for any other reason apart from that and they do look cool they look a lot better than than a clear visor I hate people being able to see my face I just like being able to put on the helmet and I'm in my own little world but I always see people going oh you know it's coming to the winter time who wears this who wears that um, what about these um, helmets that have like the, the drop down visors and all I particularly don't like them and um, See, I'll wait for this red light to finish. So the main reason why I don't like them is because every visor, I, every helmet I think apart from some of the, the showy helmets, I forget the name of the one that has a drop down visor, when they put the drop down visor in it's in between the shell. So there's now there's a little gap. So if you crash hard enough you could crack the shell. And when you're tr driving, the last thing you want to do is have to worry about, oh, if I fall head first, I could crack the shell. That's the reason why I don't like them. Now, they are good. They're very good for winter time because you can put your clear visor on, have your drop down visor when it's, when it's the morning time and then your clear visor in the evening. Fine. Again, this all comes down to personal preference. Personally, I like driving with a, with a tinted visor. Like now, it, it's a little hard to see. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say, oh, it's fine, you just get used to it. You don't, it is, you, you, your vision is skewed. Like, people, say like cyclists coming up to the left here, if they didn't have any of the lights or the reflective stuff, they'd kind of disappear until you get right up to them. So if someone does run out in front of you, they're less likely to kind of be able to react. Now, how you combat that is you just have to look a lot further ahead. I'm using the, the, the street lights so I'll be looking for shadows and anything that can move. Like I've seen those people there at the pram from a good, good, far enough distance. So if they were to pull out front of me, I could react. Um, now, most tinted visors do say they're not road legal. And I know some places, the cops can be a little bit more strict on them. Personally, in Ireland, I've never had an ex like a bad experience or a cop being a dick to me with a tinted visor. Some cops you'll see ride with tinted visors um, you know it's when like in Ireland when it does get sunny now this is a thing in Ireland it does actually get sunny and especially in the mornings like winter it gets really fucking sunny there's no heat out of the sun but there is sun nonetheless and that's what you know that's what us Irish live for sun that has no heat <laughs> but yeah personally I don't see an issue driving with a or riding with a tinted visor as long as you pay a bit more attention oh I got 15,000 kilometers um, and look a bit, a bit further up ahead other than that you're pretty much fine like the roads I will be riding on and the back oh come on man the back roads I'll be riding on don't have any lights on it so it makes it a little bit more harder but in today in this weather I'm just gonna take my time I'm not in a rush don't need to overtake because you could have a guy that doesn't have his lights on and you'll never fucking see him till it's too late so I'm in no rush I'm just gonna take my time and again just look further ahead see like that person up there that's a perfect example I've seen the dog but I couldn't see the owner because he's wearing all black so like now that I'm not going fast I'll keep my visor up so I can see 
thought about being a bit smart with it. But personally, I think if you're new to riding, not necessarily a learner, but someone who just doesn't have much experience, I wouldn't ride with a tinted visor. I'd ride with sunglasses on or get a helmet that has a, um, a drop-down visor. Now, me saying I don't like them, again, that's personally me. Just don't like them. Don't trust them. Oh, man. Nothing worse when someone's lacking that confidence. Oh, man. Thanks for stopping in a really shitty spot. Like, seriously. Get over the fuck! Yeah guys, that's, that's my opinion on tinted visors. Short but sweet, because it does come up a lot during this time of year. Let me know what you guys think about tinted visors. Guys, let me know what you guys think. That's the video, hope you enjoyed. Hope you answer some of you guys' questions and thoughts uh, when it comes to tinted visors, because it does get thrown up a lot and coming in as you can see like it's it's 10 to 6 it's not even that late but it's pitch black now because it's winter in ireland uh, but yeah guys that's the video hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you on the next video